Hey Zach here from Frontenac Outfitters Canoe and Kayak Center. Today we're going to have a look at the Mighty Mount XL and how to install it on your kayak. So the Mighty Mount XL comes with some slightly different hardware. Uh, these are, it's not a self-tapping screw. You're going to need to kind of drill some pilot holes here. Uh, but you're definitely going to want to be mindful that you don't drill too big of a hole because this is going to be a self-threading. Um, the area I'm, I'm wanting to install this, I don't have access to, so I can't put any backing plate behind it. I'm not going to be able to get any nuts or washers in behind there. Uh, so I'm going to be really mindful of, of where I'm putting it, the hole size I'm drilling, and then just making sure I get them nice and snug. Well, the first thing I want to do is kind of line up where I want it. So I'm putting this one behind the seat uh, so that I can put a, uh, a, a rod holder or a net holder in behind my seat here. Kind of just roughly gauge it. If you want to get super particular, you can get a tape measure out and get her lined up. I'm going to use a 1 8 drill bit. Pilot hole right there. Now we're going to line up our plate on here again. Take our screw using a number two Phillips. So we're not going to crank it down all the way so that we still have a little bit of room here to kind of just make an adjustment or two and drill our next hole. When you're screwing these particular ones down, I would advise using a hand screwdriver because you don't want to over tighten these and actually strip the hole out because then your screw is not going to actually catch into that plastic the way you want it to. And you're going to have to find a bigger screw or use a pop rivet or something like that instead. So that's been how to install the Mighty Mount XL. Uh, if you have any questions, as always, give us a call, send us an email. If you want more information on the product, have a look at the website, frontnackoutfitters.com. Thanks for watching.